Uh, my name is Tiffany Isom, currently a residential manager of Teresa's Interim Housing Program of Deborah's Place. Well, one day I was looking at one of the emails, the action agenda emails that were sent out from the COC, and I saw this work group called the Right Size. And I, so one of the things that I'm very excited about the Right Sizing Program is that we were able to look at each shelter system, such as the emergency shelter, interim housing, youth shelter. We were able to dissect each program, and we were able to look at the uh, overview of each program and see what, because it was it's so, I don't want to say outdated, but it can't be updated. So looking at, is it looking at each point to see what has changed? What is different from each person? So we have someone representing emergency shelters, someone representing youth shelters, someone representing interim housing programs. So everybody's at the table and we're able to say, you know, we need to look at this. This may be a future problem. So the other group is the diversion group. Now, I didn't know anything about this group. And I went to the group, I was like, okay, wait a minute, we got lawyers at the table. We have uh, the city at the table. We got Salvation Army at the table. And we have all of these people at the table looking at ways to include diversion into the process. We had a pilot program, which I really, really enjoyed the pilot program. So one of the first pilot programs is the I'm in eviction courts. Now, we got eviction to be talked about in the courts, and we were able to get seven judges to come and meet in regards to eviction prevention. So now, educating them about it and finding ways to have a tenant and a landlord work together and actually having an office on, I believe, on the 13th floor in the eviction courts where a judge would be able to say, you know what, I think maybe you all can just go talk. Would you be interested in talking to this person in regards to this? I believe this is something that can be fixed, something that can be mediated. So then we have an office, and then we have Center for Conflict and Resolutions right next door that's on board to help work with it. It's just the mediation. So um, at one of the meetings, we did hear that we having a lot of referrals. I think we were at like 11 or 12 referrals, and it may be more. But um, and that's a, and that's really good because it's just now getting out there. I really like the setup of the work groups. We have everybody at the table, different organizations, different peoples in different roles, and then we have the program managers who are doing a, a good job at facilitating these groups with a bunch of people with different personalities, different styles, and different thinking, and finding out ways to keep us focusing on the goal. You have people from lived experience who been there. They able to give us insight on what we may not have that. We may not have an understanding of their current situation or their experiences when they were there. I think I like the work group name better because when you're in a work group, you have to do some work. <laughs> and I think that's really important that a lot of people really don't look at work group. You're doing some work.